Well, um, sometimes in certain situations, I tend to ramble and waffle a bit too much and not be concise enough. Okay. And then later on, I think, why did I say so much? I should have kept it concise and short. Okay. Okay. And um, what would you like to? I'd like to um, be more aware of what I'm saying, what the other person's saying, um, and think sometimes before I speak. Okay, okay. And what would that give you as an outcome if you could do um, that? I think I might be able to get to the point and be able to get somebody to understand me a lot more rather than confusing them. Okay, sure, okay. And so the first thing we do is we identify uh, the new behaviour. How would you identify? So the behaviour is at the moment that you want to change is you feel sometimes you, you ramble on a little bit and, and go on too much about a certain thing and, and you feel by doing that it's not getting to the point that people are finding it more difficult to understand. So what would the new behaviour be? How would you, what, what, what would the actual new behaviour be? Um, ideally I think I'd like to maybe, if I'm in a conversation about anything, just say what it is that I want to say shortly, sweetly and concisely okay. and then listen to the person's response and then react to that rather than assuming what they're thinking and carrying on. Yeah, okay. And if you had to describe that new behaviour that you wanted, what would it be if you had to describe exactly what it is that you want to do? Coherently understood by people. Okay, okay, okay. And Okay, and, and how could you do that? What could you do that's within your control? So, um, I could maybe, instead of just rushing into stuff, I could think um, a little bit about what it is that I'm saying. Okay. And also watch the other person's body language, watch if they're still paying attention, if they're still focused in on me. Um, and maybe listen to what it is that they're saying fully before continuing with what I want to say. Sure, okay. Okay, I'm going to now take you through uh, a process. An actual process involves uh, being able to access your unconscious mind, uh, where a lot of learning takes place. So it's in the unconscious mind that we tend to learn new behaviours uh, and acquire new behaviours. And by accessing the unconscious mind, I'm going to use your uh, representational uh, systems the way you you, you process information to, to embed that behavior uh, in, in your mind, okay? So I'm going to do one of two things. I'm going to get you to, to, to see yourself doing it as if you're seeing yourself doing it disassociated, like watching a TV, and then I'm actually get you to run through the actual behavior itself like you are doing it in the here and now as well. So the two, the, combining the two, um, first you, you're able to see it as you want it to happen, and then the second part, is to, once you're happy with the actual behaviour like you would see it watching TV, then you can imagine in a situation where you, you would do that. Just out of interest, is there a time when you felt that you did do what you want to do? Did you, did you behave in that way? or? I do it in my professional life and I do it a lot in my personal okay. life with my husband. I don't give him a chance and I okay. just... <laughs> okay. It, it, yeah, okay. No, is, is there a time that you do the, the behaviour that you'd like? Is there a time that you actually do your um, life insights? Or? Maybe at meetings when I meet people for the first time, at networking events okay. especially, and okay. I feel that I give too much information about myself sure, and okay. take less about other people. Okay, so, so there are times when you are concise and get to the point? There are times, yeah. Okay, um, and is there anyone that you can think of that is concise and does get to the point? Um, yeah. Okay. And, and it's just useful to do that. And, and all I've done there really is done one or two things. Ideally, if the client has got their own association of doing what they want to do, great. They've got a reference point there, which, which we can use and work with. The only thing as well, if they haven't or unsure if what they're doing is what they want to do, then maybe they can visualize doing what somebody else does. Okay? Um, and that's another way uh, around the situation, uh, or maybe a combination of both as well, you know, pulling as much as we can from uh, from possibly role model and within ourselves as well, and, and go from there. Okay, what I'll get you to do is it's probably a, a couple of minute process now that we'll go through. I mean, a couple of minutes. 
But I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to just, if you can close your eyes, okay, just really relax. Just take a deep breath in, really relax and let yourself go. Feel your feet against the floor and you're back against the chair. I'm going to count backwards from five to one. As I count backwards from five to one, Sadie, I'm going to get you to go to a point where you feel really relaxed. And while I do that, just imagine emptying all your mind out into a big liner. And you can leave that big line out of the front there and you can pick it up in a few minutes if you wish to. Go back to a time when you felt really comfortable, secure, could be family and friends, free. Notice where you are. And you can maybe imagine walking down some stairs and you feel more and more relaxed too. And really relaxed. And go back to a time when you felt completely relaxed, calm, and at ease. In that state, I want you to imagine watching yourself on a TV screen producing that new behavior you talked about, being concise and straight to the point. So you can imagine yourself maybe having a conversation with someone like you're watching TV and you see yourself being very concise and very straight to the point. And as you do that, you notice the other person understands exactly what you say. And you notice the benefits of being that way as well. Your time, understand you, and all the things that you feel are positive about being that way. Okay. Once you're satisfied with the behavior, I'm going to get you to run through it, like I said, here and now. Only when you're ready, and give me a nod when you're happy with what you see yourself doing, like you're watching your TV. As soon as you're happy with the way you're handling the situation, just give me a nod. Okay, now I'd like you to imagine, imagine entering the TV and the here and now, running through the behavior like it's happening in the here and now. Okay, you're having this conversation, you're very concise, straight to the point. They've understood and you notice the benefits of being able to make your point. Now, I want you to think of anything that you'd like to change about that situation. If there's anything that you'd like to change. Okay, if there's anything you'd like to change, you can change it now. When you're happy with the pattern, okay, when you're happy with the pattern, just identify a situation where you want to be able to use the new behavior. Okay, so it could be at work, it could be personal life, professional life, wherever you feel you'd like to demonstrate this new behavior. Okay, and see yourself in various situations utilizing this new behavior, whether it be at work or at home, wherever you feel it's beneficial to do the new behavior, be more concise and to the point and straightforward. And you can just future pace and identify situations from today, tomorrow, next week, six months, a year from now, two years from now, and you can see the benefits of this new behavior. Okay. And now I'm just going to count back from three to one. And as I count back, you're going to come back to here and now. Three, just probably coming back in your own time, your own pace. Two. And okay. Brilliant. Okay. Were you able to see yourself doing the uh, behavior we to see yourself? Yeah, um, not fully, but it okay. was a little bit big, but yeah, I could see myself. Okay, sure, sure. Actually, well, doing the behaviour that you wanted to? Yeah. Okay, and then you were able to go in, like it was the here and now? Yeah. Okay, how did it feel to, 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 to be able to do the behaviour you wanted to in the here and now? It felt really good. Um, okay. It felt like I was actually achieving my, my real goal. Yes. Um, and uh, doing what exactly what it was that I wanted to do and not 
actually yes. when yeah. thinking about the bush basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And, and when we future paced and, and went into the future, um, how, how it was it beneficial to have that? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Brilliant. Okay. That's great. Thanks for giving that a go. Great stuff. Um, any questions, comments, or otherwise on the technique that we just covered there before we have a go? With the bit where you're saying that you're satisfied, yeah. Sort of because that's a because you're asking about sort of an existing event at that point mm. before before making any change. What sort of things would you? I'm just sort of trying to imagine sort of where you wouldn't be satisfied with that. Is that you're not satisfied with your own imagery of it? Do you mean? Um, the sorry, the point. Sorry, then we'll just go back. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. Round on my like, uh, okay. I'm glad you made that point because it could be okay. So, uh, anything you're not satisfied. Yeah. Okay. Just saying, go yeah. back to step three. Is that with your? Yeah. You're not satisfied with your own imagery of the situation. Yeah. A combination of all all factors really, Gavin. Mm -hmm. That's a good point, really. And I think that because we're doing that as associated, the best place to start is see yourself doing it like you're watching a TV screen. Mm 